When I first started playing Ants Took My Eyeball, I thought it was a cute platformer that didn't focus too much on strategy. But 7 hours later and after hundreds of attempts, I realized I was hooked on this relentless journey through this subterranean Carnage Canyon. Some devs just get it, and Bosmic Forge understands the pulse of addictive gameplay and found a way to combine bug obliterating fun with surprisingly strategic depth. Ants Took My Eyeball, a 2D action platformer roguelite, seems straightforward during your initial runs, but don't be fooled by its charm. There's a plethora of unique items, weapons and enemies to keep you coming back for more. Even after countless runs, both solo and with friends, I was still finding new items, interesting ways to defeat enemies, and trying my best to get some sleep. This game was clearly developed by a team that know the ins and outs of exhilarating gameplay, as this title is not just a game, it's an addiction waiting to happen. Not since Dead Cells has a game got me so engrossed with the risk versus reward like runs, where I found myself constantly riding the line of going all into fast paced fisticuffs all while being aware of everything that's happening on screen. In Ants Took My Eyeball, you're thrust into a pixelated world where the title alone sets the stage. Your eyeball has been snatched by ants and it's up to you to delve deep into the randomly generated underground labyrinths in order to retrieve it. With each run, the underground environment reshapes itself, ensuring that no two expeditions are ever the same. Even though the setting is all below ground, you'll find some interesting places to explore in the 7 levels and 10 biomes, each with their own set of inhabitants to try to finish what they started. The main areas can feel somewhat basic, but the game focuses on combat like your Kratos who's just applied to be a bug exterminator. You can expect encounters with a diverse array of creepy crawlies, from beetles to worms to flying critters, as well as some really challenging bosses and of course legions of ants. After each death, you'll take what you learned plus a new item or trinket to hopefully get you a little further in your next run. Every choice from which enemies to engage first to how to allocate epic items carries some weight that can either make or break your run. Like a finely tuned instrument, Ants Took My Eyeball rewards adaptability and punishes complacency. Many addictive roguelikes in this genre are fantastic, but sometimes games are just enjoyed more with someone else to play with. Ants Took My Eyeball adds multiplayer to the mix, with up to 4 players on one screen. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with online multiplayer, but you can get around this using Steam's remote play feature. This does mean that you'll get the occasional lag or disconnect, but it also means that your friends don't need to own a copy of the game. That being said, it was meant for in-person couch co-op, something I think that needs to be more of a thing these days. Now don't get me wrong, the more the merrier, but with so much insanity taking place on the screen, you're often left wondering who's who in this underground zoo. In order to survive these perilous depths, you'll need more than just random button mashing. You'll need to collect trinkets and weapons scattered throughout the caverns to upgrade your one-eyed character, enhancing your abilities and arming yourself for the challenges ahead. Occasionally, I did find the combat a bit repetitive, like when I was funneling ants towards me and whacking them around like a round of golf at the driving range, but you can still approach battles in multiple ways, and if you're using your controller, which I highly recommend, you're in for some wild combos. Using the right tool for the job is key, but you can seamlessly transition between items with a simple tap on the arrow buttons. Weapon ammo is limited, but ammo crates are sprawled across the stage and come in various types including poison, explosives, electrical and more. There is quite a variety here, including the melee weapons that all come with their own unique pros and cons. You can even throw dead enemies like you're some kind of bite sized quarterback. But one thing to note here is that Ants Took My Eyeball doesn't take itself too seriously. I mean just listen to the sounds of these bugs. I found myself constantly laughing at the big sleeper beetle with its goofy eyes and annoyed grunts. Now a game like this isn't sustainable without some fluid game mechanics. Two jumps and a dash give you more than enough to traverse wildly through the stages. It does take some time to get used to, but once you do, navigating the tight spaces feels so natural you feel like splunking off to 10 shots of espresso. The heart of Ants Took My Eyeball beats with the adrenaline rhythm of risk and reward. Do you take a slow, methodical approach to the level, finding hidden passages to uncover new items to aid your quest? 
Or do you take a Blitzkrieg, Twin Sticks, John Wick approach and cruise through the stage like you're about to set the next speedrun record? Every decision decides your fate, making this game equally challenging as it is enjoyable. This is especially true in the boss battles, that take what you've learned so far and combine it into a mad rush of nerves and reflexes. You'll die, often, but know that each run helps you get closer to unlocking more trinkets that you can mix and match to suit your playstyle. You can also use gems that you collect during each run to upgrade passive items that can be found throughout your runs, ranging from a coffee machine that gives you a short burst of adrenaline to a money plant that gives you more cash to spend at the end of a level. These are also displayed in your crib at the start, which help give it more character the longer you play. With so much action on the screen, I really enjoyed the break that you get at the end of each level, as a wave of calm rushes over you, allowing you to catch your breath. Here you can buy more upgrades, listen to music, and plan for the next stage. To me, the music fits well with the overall aesthetics and gameplay. Chill beats from a radio between levels, which switches to this intense soundtrack while you're fighting your way through the colony. My favorite part? Each run consists of you starting in silence, but once you break through this wooden wall, the beats kick in and you know that it's about to go down. In the realm of roguelike adventures, Ants Took My Eyeball gets my Just One More Run award and is easily a game I highly recommend for people familiar with the genre or just someone looking for some couch co-op shenanigans. Its randomly generated landscapes and its multitude of items and weapons offer endless replayability and combined with its pleasing combat mechanics ensure that each encounter is just as exhilarating as the last. If you enjoyed this video, perhaps give one of my other videos a watch too. Who knows, you might find a game that you can truly get lost in. But other than that, it's Marco here from Easily Distracted Games. And most of all, don't stop gaming.